in that episode, he talked about the NCAA, he talked about the future of college football, and a lot of other things that we can dive in. The first thing I learned was make every room better that you're in. Number two is look at where the market will be, not where it is right now. This is so important in recruiting because where a team is right now in a few years, they're not going to be at that level. You're going to see a lot of examples of this in the future and go to a team that's building to a crescendo so that you can ride that crescendo into a professional career. Number three, you're going to find that film is king. That's always been something huge, but social media is queen. Make sure you're building your brand. Make sure you're putting an image of yourself out there that's marketable, that's employable, and that you can look back on with pride. Number four, I love this quote. Athletes are the future leaders in society. And we found that 90% of females that are CEOs are former college athletes. The competition you're going to find in college will pay dividends for you the rest of your life. Number five, rev share is a possible future in college sports. Will that affect where you go? It's something that you need to look at and be aware of. Because if rev share comes into fruition, how much of that are you going to get and how marketable are you in different parts of the country? Number six is surround yourself with the best team possible. That goes for recruiting, that goes for athletics, and that goes for post athletics as well. So number seven, you've got the top 10, 15 teams that are operating at a 10 plus million dollar NIL collective. Then you've got the next 20 that are between five and 10 million. And all the rest are between one and five million. If you're going to a school, how much does their collective have and how much are they putting towards you? Number eight, if coaches are trying to entice you saying, hey, we can give you this amount of money, X, Y, Z, they're already breaking the rules. What does that say about them? So what you should see is what are they currently paying players? What are those players getting? That's going to say a lot more of what's going on. Number nine. A lot of coaches, when they say, hey, we've got this amount of money for you, they haven't secured it yet from their boosters. And number 10 is the grass isn't always greener. There's plenty of examples that guys have, of guys that have left perfect situations for them to chase the bag and get that short-term gratification where really if they stayed put, they would have had the long-term success in what they were looking for. A great place to learn more is at this website at recruitingforparents.com where you can understand the recruiting game with me, Moose Bingham.